What is happening guys? Back at you with another video. So recently a person that I follow and watch on YouTube, Sean Chandler, for those of y'all that might be familiar with him, he recently put out a video that was actually ranking some movie franchises in a tier list form. And that's actually kind of like a thing that I had an idea of that I was maybe going to do. But he already did and he had a good idea of doing it to, in a tier list form and, you know, naming all some movie franchises. So I decided I'm going to go ahead and use his idea and, you know, give him all the credit for this idea that we do this in a tier list form to where we're going to name off some movie franchises and i think this is definitely a good time to do this video because over the past couple weeks and just recently this just this past year really we have had a lot of franchise movies that have came out so i think this will actually be a good time to actually go through these movie franchises you know put them on tier lists and see what tier they actually fall in so i'm going to go through some of the same franchises he did and i'm actually going to add some franchises to it so let's go ahead and get into it starting off first we're going to go with the rocky and creed franchise and this is a franchise that i just absolutely love so this one is going to go into the a tier and really the reason why i put it into the a tier is because all these movies are great solid you know a lot most of these movies are either great or solid in this franchise there's really not a bad movie there's probably a weak movie i will say is definitely going to be rocky five is probably the weakest of the movies but honestly i can still watch that movie it's a watchable movie i don't really think it's entirely bad or anything like that but it's definitely the weakest in the franchise so with all those movies in the franchise like i said being great or at least solid that's why i put it in the a tier next up we have the wizarding world harry potter franchise and this one for me is going to go into the A tier. Now, I would have maybe put this into the S tier if it was just the Harry Potter movies themselves. But the thing that brings it down, of course, is going to be the Fantastic Beasts movies. When it comes to those three movies, I honestly don't really like those movies. I don't really enjoy those movies as much. And they really are the reason why the Harry Potter and Wizarding World franchise comes down to an A. I would have put it at the S tier, but that's the, the Fantastic Beast movies bring this franchise down to an A. When it comes to the head part movies themselves, I grew up with those movies. You know, I, I aged with those movies as I was growing up and watching those movies. So they play a big pivotal part in my life. And I just love those movies so much. All those movies are great to amazing in the franchise. So there really isn't necessarily a bad movie in that franchise. I enjoy all of them and like all of them. So with that being said, of course, I put it into the A tier. And we get to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And this one is definitely, definitely interesting one. Uh, we have a great three phases that start off with great movies or, you know, at least solid movies in that franchise. When it comes to like phase four and phase five and the more recent Marvel stuff that we're beginning, it's definitely up or down for fans. And for me personally, there is definitely some movies here and there that I might not have enjoyed as much as others. But when it comes down to this franchise as a whole, this one is still a pretty great franchise overall. So with that being said, I think I'll put it into the A tier. We have the Spider-Man franchise, more specifically just the Spider-Man movies that we've been getting to where like, you know, Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, the Spider-Verse movies, Tom Holland movies. Uh, when it comes to all those movies in general, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one into the A tier also. When it comes to the Spider-Man movies, you're always excited for a new Spider-Man movie to come out. I'm, I, You know, me personally, I'm always excited for a new Spider-Man movie to come out. And to be honest, I think there's not necessarily a bad no completely bad spider-man movie in this in this franchise honestly when it comes down to it when you're you know comparing them to other movies outside of the franchise there really isn't a completely bad spider-man movie in my opinion sure there might be some weak spots you know spider-man 3 is definitely a weak one but like it's it's just fun to watch in general to me uh when it comes to like amazing spider-man 2 is definitely another another one that people might say is a weak one but entire it's not entirely bad i don't i don't see it as a bad movie or anything like that it's a watchable movie that i could be able to watch there there is definitely some elements here and there within the movie itself that are like you know not necessarily up to par or anything like that but other than that everything else has been great and amazing in the spider-man franchise all the spider-man movies are loved and a lot of people are fans of all the spider-man actors and the spider-man movies themselves so that that is the reason why this one definitely has to go into like the a tier at least we have the DC Extended Universe or DCEU and when it comes to this franchise this one was definitely a difficult one I had to think about to what tier can I put this one in because it's definitely there's not there's not as many great movies in this franchise as some other franchises you know there's a couple of good ones in here that I do like there's definitely some bottom tier movies in this franchise that I don't like and then there's some middle tier movies that are kind of you know watchable they're kind of okay uh. so overall it's really hard to really 
put this one in a tier that I feel comfortable putting it in. So overall, I just decided to go ahead and put it to the C tier because, like I said, there's some movies that are actually kind of good that I like. Definitely some bottom tier movies. There's definitely some middle tier movies. So this franchise is definitely all over the place. So for for now at least, I'm going to go ahead and put it into the C tier. And we get to a franchise that recently had its most recent newest movie come out. And that's going to be the Alien franchise. And with this franchise, it's definitely an interesting one to where you have great tier list, you know, high tier movies in this movie, uh, this franchise with Aliens and Alien, the first original two movies. Alien Romulus is a solid addition. But then he gets to some of these other movies that are like middle tier movies like Prometheus and Alien Covenant. I have the guilty pleasure movie. The guilty pleasure movie for me is definitely Alien vs. Predator. Requiem is definitely a bad movie. Like what the hell happened to the lighting in that movie? But you have the other movies in here like Alien 3, Alien Resurrection that are more lower tier movies for me in this franchise. So this one is definitely a, one of those franchises that's like all over the place also too. Where you have high tier movies, middle tier movies, bottom tier movies. And with that being said, at least most of these movies in this franchise are at least watchable. I can at least watch a majority of the movies in this franchise. So at least with that being said, I'll put this one into the B tier. And we have the Predator franchise. This one is a franchise that's uh, another interesting one. That doesn't have as many movies as the Alien franchise. But like I said, Guilty Pleasure definitely is Alien vs. Predator. I just like seeing those two icons battle on screen. But honestly, I don't really think there's necessarily a bad movie in this franchise. There's... Definitely some great ones. You know, Prey and the first original Predator movie are definitely some great ones in this franchise. Predator 2 is definitely kind of a solid one. It's a solid watch, at least. Uh, when it comes to some of these other movies, Predators um, from 2010, I think the year was. Honestly, it's a solid addition. I think it's a solid addition, addition when it comes to, like, the weakest movie in the franchise, which is probably probably the Predator, or was it called the Predator? Whichever one was called from 2018. It's probably the weakest one for me. But it's still a watchable movie. I don't. I mean, I don't go back to rewatch it a whole lot, but it's a watchable movie within the franchise itself. But it still is probably the weakest one. At least with that being said, I think I'll put this one also into the B tier. We have the Terminator franchise, and with this franchise, this one is definitely an up or down one. Uh, we got some two. We got two great films in this franchise, high tier films in this franchise. With the first original Terminator movie in Terminator 2: Judgment Day, fan favorites all around. Um, I think Solid Edition with Terminator Salvation, definitely Solid Edition. Terminator 3 is at least somewhat watchable movie for me. I could watch it. I, can, I completely hate Terminator Genesis. That's a movie that I completely hate in this franchise. And when it comes to Dark Fate, it's at least a solid addition to the franchise. So this one is definitely another interesting one. And with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one also in the B tier. It's definitely an interesting franchise to uh, put into the B tier though. And we get to Star Wars and this one is a Oh, Star Wars, Star Wars, Star Wars. Man, Star Wars is one of those franchises that's definitely not completely where I like everything. You know, where I like everything in this franchise. Uh, I mean, the original trilogy, goaded. It's goaded trilogy. When it comes to prequel trilogy, uh, I mean, you know, those are nostalgia bait things that I grew up watching. So I could go back to watch those movies as a nostalgia kick. Uh, when it comes to the sequel trilogy, I love Force Awakens. Great movie. The other two... Although uh, Last Jedi, I think it's a not a good movie, but it's, it's not a good Star Wars movie. But it's a, it's a it's it's honestly a solid movie in general outside of Star Wars, like just in, in a filmmaking perspective. When it comes to the Rise of Skywalker, oh, I I dislike that movie so much. I I cannot watch that movie to this day still after I watched it like two times maybe. Oh man, when it comes to some of the shows, the shows are definitely up and down. There's some definitely some great shows in this franchise, and some other shows that I didn't necessarily like either. But overall, this is still an interesting franchise. I can still get excited for some things in this franchise whenever it gets announced or they have an inter interesting idea or concept. I can still get somewhat excited for this franchise. So I'll put this one overall at the B tier. We have the Jurassic Park franchise. And this one is another one that's definitely different tiers within itself. We got the original Jurassic Park movie, which is definitely an S tier film. Definitely S tier film. When it comes to like which movie I believe is the second best or you know second on that list it'll be Jurassic World where I at least think it's like you know this great blockbuster film that gave us all those still feels of the original Jurassic Park movie uh, when it comes to some of the other movies in here I think they're still solid watchable additions when it comes to like the weakest movies in this franchise um, I would definitely say that is Dominion Jurassic World Dominion did not live up to its expectations on what I wanted it to be 
and just weird how they went the direction they went with this i mean it was cool to be able to see the golden trio come back on screen and all that stuff but like that movie was not what i wanted it to be so that definitely drags this movie franchise down but you know it's at least majority of the movies in here are at least great to at least somewhat solid watchable edition so with that being said i'll at least put this one into the b tier at the john wick franchise and this one might be the only franchise on this list that i might put into the s tier and the reason for that is because there's what four movies in this franchise now and we got some more coming on the way time will tell you know whether those movies live up to the hype of the original john wick movies but when it comes to this franchise each movie is an amazing great movie you got a lot of great action going on in this movie keanu reeves is just his star power in this movie is amazing the way they have all these different stunts and set pieces in these movies every movie across the board on in this franchise amazing top tier movies that i like to go back and rewatch ever so often so this might be the only s tier movie franchise on this list and we have the x-men franchise when it comes to this movie franchise this one is definitely number one to where we have some great movies in this movie uh, this franchise some high tier movies middle tier movies and bottom tier movies uh when it, I, I love the x-men like i love the x-men from the comics and i i enjoyed a lot of these movies that are in the franchise but there's definitely some other movies i don't enjoy in this franchise <clears throat> x-men dark phoenix um but <laughs> other than that this is at least has somewhat of solid additions to the franchise itself uh i enjoy logan logan's a masterpiece of a film um i enjoy x2 an original x-men movie days of future past are some of my favorites in the franchise you know you got the deadpool movies in here you just recently had deadpool wolverine also so you have all those great things additions in here new mutants i know a lot of people don't like that movie but i can appreciate the fact that it tried to go into a different genre of of a movie so i can appreciate that fact other than that all the other movies on the list uh after that are like definitely bomb tier movies to where i don't like them as much so this one is definitely a wild based uh franchise so i'll probably there are so many movies in this franchise too so that kind of levels things out so i at least maybe we'll put this one into the b tier transformers transformers what can i say about transformers well i will say that the only ones i kind of like i mean i like the original first movie that was definitely a good one at, at a t there was a time where i did kind of like the second one you know it kind of had those you know i was a kid at the time and i did kind of like the second one the third one i didn't really like age of extinction i remember watching it in theaters and coming out of that after watching it just thinking oh man what a <laughs> what a bad bad outing for transformers and last night don't even get me started on last night that was so bad so horrible but then we get stuff like Bumblebee. The Bumblebee movie was a nice little surprise to where it kind of energized the Transformers franchise a little bit to where we get an actual solid addition to Transformers after a couple of bad ones. And then Rise of the Beast. I know a lot of people didn't like Rise of the Beast, but honestly, I think it's a solid addition to the Transformers franchise. It was one that to where I was not expecting a whole lot from it, but I went to go watch that movie and honestly was a little surprised. Um, I wouldn't say it's like a great movie or anything like that. But it was honestly at least a somewhat solid addition to the Transformers franchise itself. So like I said, this one is definitely an interesting franchise on the different levels of movies that they have in this franchise overall. So going off of that, every overall, I think this is going to be a C tier franchise and we have the middle earth franchise featuring lord of the rings and the hobbits movies and when it comes to this movie franchise i love this movie franchise i honestly do the lord of the rings movies they top tier s tier movies when it comes to the hobbit movies i'll probably put them at like the b tier maybe i know a lot of people don't like those movies but honestly i like them to be honest i like those movies i can still be able to watch those movies and have fun with them and i do go back to rewatch them ever so often and just being in this whole world, uh, you know, this fantasy realm of Middle Earth still, we're still able to get some pretty good stories going on with the Hobbit movies too. Like, you know, definitely not to the scope of Lord of the Rings. They're definitely not that tier, that kind of tier for uh, those movies. But when it comes to the overall Middle Earth franchise itself, I think I'll put it into the A tier. Because, like I said, S tier movies with Lord of the Rings, B tier movies with uh, the Hobbit movies. So, you know, even that out a little bit comes up to at least an A. And we have the Planet of the Apes franchise, and I'm talking about the entire catalog of Planet Apes movies all the way back from the 60s to now, which I believe is what, a total of 9 to 10 movies or something. Uh, when it comes to the Planet Apes movies, and I actually did watch them whenever Kingdom of the Planet Apes was about to come out, I went back and rewatched everything. 
So when it comes to the first original movie of the Planet of the Apes, I think that was definitely a great one. That's a great one in the franchise. When it comes to some of the other movies after that, it's definitely um, they're definitely lower. They're definitely lower on the tier list for me. But there's still some enjoyment in those movies, kind of, when it comes to that remake back in, what, 2001, the Tim Burr one. Who? that's a hard watch. That's a hard watch right there. But when it comes to the newest modern day trilogy with the uh, Caesar, uh, those three movies that we got a couple years ago, that's an, for me, that's an S tier. That's an S tier trilogy right there. You know, if y'all see my trilogies list video that I did a couple of days ago or last week, whenever it was. Y'all know that I put that at an S tier. That's an S tier trilogy for me. I love that trilogy so much. And then when it comes to new, the newest edition of uh, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, I think that's a solid edition. Not as strong as some other movies, but definitely a solid addition to the whole Planet of the Apes franchise. So that being said, I think this one is at least a B tier movie franchise. And we get to the Legendary Monsterverse. This is going to be like the newest Godzilla and Kong movies that we've been getting over the past couple years. And with this one, I enjoy these movies. Like, I really do. I go into these movies for the kaiju action and battles going on that we get between Godzilla, Kong, some of the other kaijus that we get in this movie. But when it comes down to it, this is these movies are not great when it comes to human-side storylines. You know, a majority of these movies in here do not have great human-side stories going on. But, like I said, I don't really go to these movies for that. But, of course, we have to have them in there because we need to, you know had the run time a little bit to have at least some human characters going on here but i go to these movies for you know specifically for watching that kaiju action i want to see some i, I want to see godzilla action i want to see kong go up against another kaiju being his head in or something like that you know i just go in for fun action when i want to go when i go see these movies so with that being said i at least put this one into the b tier and we have the hunger games franchise and this one i like this franchise a lot i think it has a lot of great movies i don't think there's really a bad movie in this franchise this movie franchise is great overall uh, across the board for the most part there's definitely some movies that are better than others but when it comes down to it i don't think there's a bad movie in this franchise at all you know we got the four original hunger games movies that are based on the three books you got the newest edition that came out last year with ballast songbirds and snakes that was definitely a great solid addition to the franchise overall so with that being said i enjoy these movies and i look forward to the newest movie that they just announced that will be coming out in uh 2026 i believe they said so i'm looking forward to that and I, i'm hoping it's as good good and as great as some of the other movies in the hunger game franchise so with that being said, I think this one is at least an A tier franchise. And we get to Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible, this one is a franchise that I will admit that I don't necessarily like or it's not it's, it's not really one of my favorite franchises out there. You know, I'll watch these movies or, you know, I'll at least watch them the one time because they're at least, you know, they're not bad movies. I'm not going to call them bad movies because they're not. They're at least worth or, you know, they're at least good enough for the one time watch. I typically only watch these movies once. Like, I won't go to theaters to watch these movies, but, you know, they hit streaming or something. I'll check it out, see what the newest uh, insane, crazy Tom Cruise stunt is in this movie. And, you know, they have some pretty good, decent action going on in this movie. But I will say, I don't really get invested in these characters too much. I don't really have connections with these characters, really. So, like, it's never a franchise that I go back to rewatch. So, I think these are, you know, a lot of people like these movies. I understand why they like these movies. I can see why they like these movies. But it's just movies that I never really go back to watch or really like as much or, you know, they're not favorites of mine. But I can understand and appreciate that what these movies do for our people. So at least with that being said, I'll at least put this one at like the A tier. And we get to the last franchise and that's going to be Fast and the Furious. With this one, this one is just, uh, this one is just guilty pleasure favorites of mine, honestly. Like I go to these movies for... You see how ridiculous they can get, the uh, ridiculous action, ridiculous stunts that they do, like going to space <laughs> for one of the movies. Um, honestly, I think all these movies are fun to watch. Um, you know, they not necessarily great or anything like that, but they're fun to watch. You know, I could go to them and just turn my brain off and have fun with them, watch them on screen, and just see how ridiculous they can get. You know, there's definitely some weak movies in here, I think eight and nine are definitely probably the weakest in the franchise but other than that all the other movies are great in a fun sense <laughs> and just ridiculous and i just go to those movies just to have fun and that's what i get out of majority of the fast and furious movies so with that being said i at least put this one at a b tier so let me know down in the comments below how would you rank these movies like i said uh, sean chandler came up with this idea so i was kind of thinking of this idea too but he really 
put it at the forefront to make into a tier list so i decided to go ahead and use his idea so go ahead and check out his video that he did on this this idea but that's going to do it all for this video hopefully you all enjoyed it remember to subscribe and turn notifications on so you know i post another video hope you have an awesome day i'll see you on the next one